Hello again. I'm back uh, for another um, test route around Litchfield. My cameras have got enough battery life left in them, hopefully. So we're going to quickly whiz around Litchfield again, do another test route. Uh, hopefully this video will be useful for anybody learning to drive, anybody who might be preparing for a driving test in or around Litchfield, and indeed um, people who are training to become driving instructors. So without further ado, I'm going to get it going. Um, on this particular route, you would be turning right out of the test centre and right at the end of the road. So I'm going to put it in first gear now, set the gas, looking all around and I'm just going to bring it forward. I'm not going to signal because I don't want people thinking I'm turning right in there and it doesn't really benefit anybody anyway to be signaling. So I'm just going to bring it forward. I'm just going to hit the drive button on there and the nearest point. So yeah, bring it forward to the end of the road. We've got that novice driver in front of me. Um, so I'm just going to be patient while they deal with that. Junction there, handbrake on. I'm not going to get too close and intimidate the learner driver. You will arrive at your destination at 1.38 p.m. I'm going to bring it forward now to the junction and again apply the handbrake. It's always good because that means that your right foot can set the gas without the car rolling. I've got my eye on the lady there at the uh, traffic lights that's pressed the button to cross the road so I'm not going to accelerate. I'm just going to stay in first gear and I'm now committed, so into second gear, turning right, uh, so immediately right, holding back for this one coming past me, and then looking into the junction, turning right now. We're going to go to the end of the road uh, and turn left. Now at the end of this road there is um, a stop junction there. Do stop the car, put the handbrake on, and then examiners are not going to be trying to consider whether or not the car actually did come to a stop. Um, make sure you look both ways. There are traffic lights on the left. There are, is usually pedestrian activity there. And if there isn't, lights could change anyway. Uh, and you don't want to be looking for, for a gap on the right and, and then bring the car forward too fast and commit yourself. So I'm going to be selecting first gear now, handbrake on. I'm happy with the gap and the lights are on green and there's no one waiting to cross. Here, I think the sat nav is telling me to turn left, which is a surprise. We're normally following the road ahead. So we're gonna be putting the left signal on for city centre. I'm holding the car back a little bit now till the blue one's out of the way. I'm happy with that. Check that left mirror one more time. And towards the city centre. We've got parked cars in the way, so I've already checked the right door mirror allowing plenty of room for car doors to open or indeed a car might pull away without warning. I'm not accelerating up to the 30 mile an hour speed limit, I'm doing about 25, 26. We've got the roundabout ahead. I know I'm slowing down, we've got the college on the right and there's usually a lot of pedestrian activity over the roundabout there. So I'm just holding back into second gear, keeping my position good. No point rushing this and trying to take straight lines at roundabouts. You, that is not going to go down well on a driving test. Mirrors, we're going to follow the road round sharply to the right. Again, I'm just covering the brake here. I'm anticipating there could be people crossing the road at any point around this corner. I just can't see. So I'm just bringing it round nice and easy. We've got brake lights in front of me, see I told you. And I'm just holding, holding it there. Uh, traffic lights ahead are on red. Um, I'm going to put it into second gear for a little bit more control. We've also got the pedestrian crossing which is actually raised. Um, so don't be going over this more than 5 or 10 mile an hour tops. Uh, we're going to be following the road ahead at the traffic lights. Um, and I'm just taking my time along here. Brake lights ahead. Really I don't want to stop the car. Every time you stop the car you risk someone running into the back of you. So I'm just taking it steady into first gear. I'm just crawling along really slow. Hopefully the, yep, the buzz is starting to move forward again now. Buzz is turning left. I'm not going to get right up his backside. 
I'm just going to take my time. I'm anticipating the lights could suddenly change again. So mirror. I'm not accelerating. I'm looking across the road and now I'm committed I am going through but I'm also looking like an all-seeing owl as I go through the junction because remember all the drivers might not be stopping at the traffic lights somebody might be crossing at these lights and I can't see at the moment I'm looking through the glasswork for any clues as to what's going on but I can't see so I've just applied the handbrake and I've kept decent distance tires on tarmac from the one in front. If they roll into me, that could be a problem. If they break down, again, I need to allow room to get around them. So don't get too close. Uh, bringing the car forward. Always checking the door mirrors before we do that. Um, and we've got more parked cars on the near side there. So I'm just moving it out slightly. Uh, yeah, there's a girl looking to cross the road. So I'm glad I didn't accelerate. Uh, remember we need to anticipate what can go wrong uh, and then when things start to develop we're, we're ready to deal with it um, again so yeah always think that these cars could be pulling away without warning i.e no signals doors could be coming open uh, maybe there's a young person in the back of the car that's just opened the door or something um, and yeah just looking further up ahead no one's at the crossing here it is just 30 miles an hour so I'm, I'm not really making much progress along this road I'm just taking my time but there is a lot of uh, things that can go wrong so just take your time examiners are looking at you for use of speed they're also looking at whether or not you are getting too close to these parked cars so where possible get as far away as you can we're going to be following the road ahead at the traffic lights. I'm just looking ahead at the new road markings. It looks to me like you can use either lane to proceed ahead. If you've got a choice, use the left lane. There's less that can go wrong. And I'm just holding it there into first gear, ready to go. We are just bringing it to a stop. Hopefully it's just for a moment. I'm gonna be setting the gas ready. If you're sitting here, just have the gas ready so that it's one job out of the way. My handbrake's on, I'm not rolling anywhere, the gas is on and I can just gently release the clutch. Again, looking both ways at the junction. Protect yourself, don't assume that it's safe, even though the lights might be on green. And again, I'm bringing the speed right down. I noticed that the lights change very suddenly then, so it's a good job I'm not accelerating like a bat out of hell. Into first gear. And I'm anticipating getting it going again soon. I'm not quite sure where we're going yet. But bringing it forward. It looks like we're making a right turn up Knoll Lane. Well, that's fine, we can do that. So we're crossing the traffic, 40 mile an hour road. So we've got to be uh, confident at crossing the traffic crossing the path of so mirrors there's nothing coming towards me at the moment signals on that doesn't look very clever driving around with the uh, back doors open on the van so again don't get too close to situations like that because if things start dropping out onto the road you might have a problem okay I'm turning into an old lane again as a in a previous video I did discuss um, the examiners do like you to do a hill start along here so they'd ask you to pull over perhaps by this white building somewhere there don't block the driveway stay by the uh, the ivy and then we can get it going again now it's a national speed limit road so we're just going to try and get it going a little bit now and there's nothing coming towards me so i'm taking the middle of the road if you're confident enough to do national speed limit, that's great. If there's one coming towards you like this, mirror and just bring the speed down so that there's less space, we use less speed. And that way you're not gonna damage your car by driving into the hedge or lose a mirror. Anyway, mirror, easing off on the gas, covering the brake in case there's a problem around the corner. Remember there's a house here or a farm and someone could be pulling away from there there is a little bit of activity there today but equally there could be a vehicle coming out of there mirror and now I can get it going again 
up the centre of the road. Remember if there's something coming towards me, I can bring the speed down a bit and tuck it back into the left, but there's no road markings on this road, so I want to use all the road, not half of it. Mirror, I can't see around that bend, so I'm going to bring the speed down a little bit and tuck it back in again. We've got brake lights ahead, we've got the stop junction ahead, mirrors. Bring that speed down, we've got two in front. And we're going left clutch all the way down I will be applying the handbrake there's no hard and fast rule about using the handbrake but I like to do it it's absolutely clear I'm not rolling back and it gives me the chance to set the gas that means you're less likely to stall the car when you want to get it going again it looks to me like we're going to be doing a left um, at the roundabout towards Burton, it'll be signposted Burton. Remember though, don't go too crazy down this road, it's just a 50 mile an hour speed restriction. The examiner might tell you that, uh, depending on his mood, um, or if the sign is hidden by overgrown hedge or something like that, but um, better that you know yourself. Anyway, mirror, bring the speed down. We're gonna be going left, Burton, A38. Most of the junk, uh, most of the driving tests uh, for Litchfield are all centered around getting you onto the A38. Uh, so you've got to be confident at getting the car going up to 70 miles an hour. Okay, stay in that left lane. Don't get crossing over into the other lane unless it's just not necessary. The one in front's not really going fast enough yet, but I'm gonna stay in third gear for greater acceleration. I've got the signal on, and I'm gonna look over that right shoulder now, making sure it's absolutely safe, and I'm gonna accelerate all the way up to 70 miles an hour now. We've got one behind me now that's overtaking me. It looks to me like we might be leaving in three quarters of a mile, so I'm not gonna be making any effort to uh, take it all the way up to 70 mile an hour. I, I do have the car in front of me, uh, but it looks to me like we're getting off very, very soon. In fact, it'll be the next junction on the left. So I'm looking for my 300 yard mark to put my left signal on. So I'll put my signal on now, certainly no later than 200 yards. And don't go braking on the main carriageway here. This is, we start slowing down on the on the uh, the deacceleration lane on this slip road so off the gas now keep the signal on till we reach the hazard lines to reinforce our intention cancel that signal this roundabout up here is interesting we're going left a lot of people get this one wrong they think that if someone in lane two is coming towards them they're going to go all the way around the roundabout don't make that assertion at all we don't know where anybody's going and they could spiral across the road into your lane towards Litchfield which is where we're going so I'm taking my time now. There's nobody in either lane one or two, so I'm gonna get it going. But a lot of people would see that van there and think, oh, they're in that lane, that means I'm safe to go. It's not true at all. At any point, someone could change their mind and come across the road. And if you pull out in front of them, that's gonna be a huge problem. Anyway, still national speed limit, believe it or not, but because we're on a single carriageway now, that means this is the 60 mile an hour road mirror bringing it down to 40 now doing 40s we reach 40 very interesting and following the road ahead again we've got the staggered crossroads here so always be wary of any movement at these junctions and we're just bringing it forward i don't think there's very far left to go on this on this route today it's a nice straightforward route really listen to your instructor though you'll know when you're ready if the instructor that you're having for your lessons is quiet most of the time you know you're going to be able to do it by yourself if you're having to ask questions then you're not independent yet so we're going to hold it back here and take note of the new road markings and the new layout. We're using the right hand lane to follow the road ahead. If you find yourself in that left lane, which is the case normally, just turn left, it's absolutely okay. So again, I'm moving to the left side of the road to continue ahead now. I've already checked the mirrors. Again, if you're half asleep 
and you're in that lane just make a right turn it's not going to be a problem it might wind you up a little bit to know that you've gone the wrong way it's not ideal your heart might be banging a little bit but don't worry too much the examiner is not going to be failing you for going the wrong way on a driving test so almost done 30 miles an hour speed restriction along this road mirror I'm just going to be easing off a little bit now as I negotiate this part vehicle and I can see brake lights ahead mirror and I'm just scanning the road for anyone who might want to cross in between these parked cars I've got brake lights ahead I've got one trying to cross in front of me and looking further up ahead lights are on green I wonder how long they've been on green that's the question you should ask yourself uh, so don't go racing up to them and still expect them to be green when you get there and they're just starting to change now look mirror you should be looking ahead as far as you can see the lights have been on red a little while and if i time this just nice they'll be on green when i get there we need to follow the road ahead so just look on the road for any road markings there is no signs around here to help us clutch down for a control coast. I know I'm going to need first gear but I'm still going a little bit too fast so just wait until you're going a bit slower into first gear now and just hold it there just for a moment. Handbrake on, keep your hand there so you don't forget that it's on. Worst thing in the world is trying to pull away and the handbrake's still on, you don't want to be stalling the car that way. So keep your hand on the handbrake if you're using it. Scanning the road, we're all good. Got lots of pedestrian activity up ahead, so the cars in front are not really uh, making much progress. In fact, I can see a little bit of brake light. It's probably for the raised crossing there. Again, don't get damaged in the car by going over this crossing too fast. It's like hitting the curb. If you go too fast, you're going to damage the suspension. You might knock your tracking out of place it's not going to do your car much good and if your friends drive uh, <laughs> if your friend is um, enjoying a milkshake or a hot cup of coffee they're going to get burnt okay so sharp end to the left mirror checks doing i'm just scanning across the way there just to make sure that there isn't a problem and up to the roundabout we're going to be turning right shortly so mirror checks are doing the signals on i'm looking ahead for any help uh, I can't see a problem to the right. I'm going to select second gear for this job. I've already checked the left mirror. Just got a wary eye on anybody else at the roundabout now. I've just cancelled the signal and I'm bringing the car forward. I'm not going to be accelerating too much. I've got my wary eye on that couple over there. And it's the second left by the traffic lights and mirrors. Signal's going on. I'm covering the clutch and the brake never know what you're going to find as you come around a corner so just be careful somebody's reversing into this junction i want to pull up on the right in a moment so mirrors the only legal place i can pull over is on this single yellow line just here it's a bit tricky at litchfield test center for parking places so there we go uh, i hope you got something from that please feel free to leave questions and comments down below i'll try my best to get to all of them um bye for now